wealthy businesswoman calls police to say her mansion was burning down, but when the firefighters saw the blaze, he was so angry that he almost vomited blood. You call that a house on fire? The firefighters quickly took care of everything. They were ready to go to the next rescue site, but the woman suddenly came out in a frenzy. She said that a diamond necklace worth nearly $10 million was missing. She insisted that some firemen had taken it. Soon the fire brigade was visited by an investigation by the higher-ups. Yes. It was the wealthy businesswoman who called the police. Matt was convinced that the teen hadn't taken the necklace, but according to procedure, the firefighters needed to cooperate with the investigation. The first step was to search everyone's personal lockers. The men were angry, but they did what they were told. Who would dare disobey the leader? But Griffin, who was in charge of the investigation, wanted to take it personally because he had a problem with Matt. So he's convinced that the fireman stole the necklace and he's going to take advantage of it to get back at Matt. Matt is so angry that he's about to beat him up. That's when the police call went out. The firemen were ready to go. Of course, the search had to be suspended. Griffin was furious. Firefighters arrive at the scene of the accident. A private car had crashed into a street lamp. The driver of the car ran away. Only one man was left trapped. According to his confession, the driver hit a courier boy on a bicycle. The firefighters did not find the injured man at first until they saw a finger in front of the car. It turned out that the courier boy had been run over under the car. But unfortunately, he had lost his vital signs. The firefighters didn't have time to feel sorry for him. First, they had to pry open the car door. The main priority was to get the man out. The job of finding the missing driver was left to rookie Peter. He soon saw a man standing on the bridge a short distance away. Peter did his best to calm the man down. He had wounds on his body. He must be the driver who caused the accident. The driver felt at this point that he had hit and killed someone. He would have to pay a huge price for this. He would have to pay a huge sum of money. Instead of dragging his family down, he might as well jump off the bridge and be done with it. Despite Peter's best efforts to reassure him, the man still wouldn't listen. So Peter tried to tell a lie. He explained the that the delivery boy wasn't dead. He was in temporary shock. Maybe he's awake by now. At that moment the captain and the policeman came alone. Matt played along with Peter to complete a good lie. The man calmed down. The police then immediately moved in and took him under control. The captain was also very pleased with Peter's actions. But the trouble didn't end there. The necklace story was not yet resolved. Team member Otis had found out some information. The wealthy businesswoman was in serious financial trouble. She had numerous debt judgments. She was also under investigation for two wire frauds. So this was a classic insurance scam. Matt went to to Griffin and explained everything. But Griffin didn't care. What Matt said was just speculation. There was no proof. All Griffin wanted was revenge. So Matt was the first to be searched. Then he searched every corner of the room. Matt looked at him like he was a villain. Matt decided to do something to end the drama. So he approached the wealthy businesswoman. He approached the rich businesswoman and told her about the thermal imaging device. This thing can record the fireman in action. So all the police had to do was look at the footage and they would know who was lying. The woman listened impatiently and closed the door. Griffin then continued to examine the lockers without relenting. Suddenly, he got a call from the police. They said the rich businesswoman had found the necklace under the bed. Now Griffin has to reluctantly get out of the way. But when everyone heard what Matt had done, everyone was overjoyed. Because thermal imaging cameras, it doesn't have a video function. That's good. <laughs> the next day, firefighters rescued a young boy stuck in a laundry aisle, but was later attacked by hooligans. What was the reason for this? Stay tuned as I'll update the video tomorrow.